It's pretty simple. I just want to collect every single prestige reskin on every doodle. Although, what's the point in collecting all of the prestige reskins when I don't have really cool doodles to apply them to? So, I'm also going to be going for the misprint hidden trait 6 star versions of the doodle so I can actually apply the skin to, but why stop there though? Let's also go for a size modifier on it, like big or small, or maybe go for a tint, whichever one shows up first. I think it just makes the most sense to do this in dex order, so we're starting with Niblon, which for some reason you actually can't find on Route 1. Although on that, I think I've got everything set up. I've got my plus one chain booster already turned on with nine hours. Hopefully we won't need more than this, but if we do, I can always buy it later. We actually don't need the misprint chance booster turned on right now because we're at such a low chain like it'll just be a waste so i'm just gonna save until i get a higher chain and then for the parts uh, basically gel is just my go-to adventure mode doodle so yeah to give it a lot of moves with a lot of pp so i can just try and chain as much before i need to go heal swap tower has the trait hunter which just means whatever doodle i'm chaining is just a little bit more common so it just makes sense to have one of them apart and then i've got four lasers all with the scavenge abilities whenever i do a battle at the end of it i just get random items and they're all level 5 to give me the best chance to get lesser chain tickets, which I'm probably not going to use for these videos, but I'll probably save them for the legendaries whenever I do lose. Anyway, enough talking, let's just get chaining. And now we're over 100. So if you actually don't know, you can actually see what odds you have with the specific chain that you have. All you gotta do is click on the thing that you're chaining, and I'll say, hey, right now I have a 1.22% chance to get a misprint, a 0.11% chance to get a skin, and a 12% chance to get a hidden trait. So... Yeah, not the best, but I'll be back whenever we get a thousand. And dang, we already got our first misprint. Unfortunately, it's only false star, although it's hidden trait. But uh, yeah, we can definitely do a lot better. We got another misprint, although this one isn't just an ordinary misprint, okay? This is a misprint hidden trait six star one, although it doesn't have a size modifier and it doesn't have a tint. So uh, who cares? Oh, I didn't even realize we reached the 1000 mark of killing this quickly. Just KO this nibbling and we'll see what my odds are now. I'm pretty sure our, is it hidden trait should be 100? Yeah, okay, so my hidden trait chance now is 100%. Skin chance is also 6.25%, which I'm pretty sure is the max. I think usually it's meant to be like 4%. I'm assuming this week has a skin boost. And then we have a 11% chance for my misprints. And we're over 2,000. Uh, yeah, we actually already went over it a little bit ago. I just wasn't really paying attention again. But hey, we did it. Unfortunately, we haven't found a tint or a size modifier yet for Nibblin specifically. I have actually found some of them. It's just that for some reason, they've always been on Bun Suite, which we aren't chaining for. But anyway, for the odds, obviously, we've already maxed out my skin chance at 6.25. I can't get it any higher than that. And then for the hidden trait, chance is still 100%. Again, if it's already 100%, it can't go over it. But for the misprint chance, we are now 22.56%, which is somewhere between 1 in 5, 1 in 4. So I will gladly take it. Oh, we finally got our first Nibblin tint. It is purple, but it's not even a 6 star. So who cares? Just get out of here. And here we are, 3,000. Okay, then. So, finally, for once, okay, I've actually recorded on the exact moment we hit it. So, my odds also for skin and hidden trait chance are still maxed out. I can't increase them anymore. But my misprint chance is now 1 in 3, 33.44%, which is nice. Also, uh, yeah, I actually just happened to realize something, uh, mostly because I opened up the Discord. But um, I actually started with six lesser chain tickets. Uh, and as you can see, after 3,000 chains, I don't have any more. And it seems that some time before I started recording this video and started chaining, they actually removed chain tickets from Scavenge, which is a little unfortunate. Oh, a nullitin, but ooh, it's green. Or I should actually say lime. But you aren't even a misprint. You are a six-star hidden trait, but why would I consider catching you if you aren't misprint? Although I will say, a backslider revelation. I'm sure tints are pretty cool in like some regards, some consideration on certain doodles, but... I think for this series, because I'm mostly trying to capture the prestige skins for every single doodle, I think I'm going to pass on the tints. Even like the double tints or like the multi-tints, I think I'm just going to pass and I'm just going to go for the size modifiers instead because if I'm going to capture every prestige reskin, if I apply that prestige skin to a normal doodle, it's gold, and if I apply it to a misprint doodle, it's diamond. If I then slap a tint on top of that, it's not diamond anymore, it'll just be lime. So. I think I'm just going to honestly pass on them. I'm sure they look pretty cool in some regard, but I feel like it just kind of ruins the vibe for the prestige reskins. And honestly, in some cases, tints kind of look ugly. Although, there are some exceptions, like my Jammy Star 
reskin of Bionotic and Squarely. They look very, very cool if they're mist tints. Uh, but yeah, I think for this series, I'm just going to pass on one. Well, we finally got my first size modifier. It's tiny. But uh, yeah, I think the game's mad at me because I made fun of tints. Because uh, once again, it is six to hidden trait, but it isn't misprint. That was the only thing this thing needed, and I would have caught it. I don't know if this is red or purple. Oh, it's Rose. Either way, uh, see you later. And we're over a 4,000 chin. Okay, well, let's see what my misprint chances are. Also, I think actually, because it's Saturday now, I think the weekly, like, chaining things changes. So as you can see, my skin chance has actually gone down to 4%, which is what it usually is. So I'm assuming that the 6.25% is because it was just the skin increase week. But as you can see as well, we now have a 44.56% chance to get a misprint, so almost exactly half. Oh, I almost killed it. That would have been pretty bad, but we got a blue one. And if I remember correctly, I think blue is tiny, right? Damn it. It's only five star. We were so close. And I was right. Blue is tiny. I was so close. Why couldn't you just be six star, man? We would have been done. And 4,500, which isn't the next 1,000. But it has some special meaning because that means we are now, if I actually click on it really fast, a 50% chance to get a misprint. So now if I actually go to my boosters, which I did say early at the beginning of this video, I didn't turn on the misprint one. Well, now if I do turn it on, we should have a 100% misprint chance. So now basically everything that we find is going to be misprint hidden traits. Well, not exactly six star. I don't think you can get guaranteed six stars, but... Basically, now all I gotta do is get the big or tiny, three, six star, and we're good. Another tin, and of course, it's green again. It isn't even six star, so I don't don't care. Okay, we passed 5,000. It can't take that much longer, right? Oh, it's tiny again. Be a six star, be a six star. <laughs> it's not fair. I'm gonna guess rose, <laughs> but it's not even a six star. Red tint, it's actually perfect as well. Misprint hidden trait six star. I wonder how many people are gonna be mad if I just do this because I don't really care about the tints. I'm not gonna lie. I just want the size modifier. And 6,000. It's either blue or purple, but bye bye. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we got a big. Now all we need it to be is six star, and we have our nibbling. Please. Oh, oh, we did it. It's perfect. Misprint hidden trace six star, baby, and it's big. Again, some people are probably going to be mad at me for, like, you know, not um capturing the tinted ones, but to be honest, tints don't look that amazing on the prestige, and since this series is mostly for the prestige, then... What's the point? Anyway, I think this was our 6668. Well, technically, our 6667. But I mean, I have been using the uh, chain boosters the entire time, so I don't really know what the uh, correct way to say it is, but basically, I'll take it. It should be my PC box. So now we have the Nibblin. All that we gotta do now is get the skin because uh, I didn't realize I had it. Probably should have got the skin before I started chaining for this. So now let's start a second chain to get the prestige skin. For some reason, I didn't think it would take me that long to actually get the reskin, but um, clearly I was wrong. Oh, well, we got it, and it wasn't that long after the last clip, so I guess all I had to do was mention that it took me a while, so nice. I'm just gonna gold capsule it. I mean, I'm not gonna spend like 10 minutes trying to capture this thing. Actually, it's like level five. I'm pretty sure I can just, okay. Okay, I was actually about to waste 50 Robux. I've wasted so much Robux on this game. I need to stop. I need to take a break from spending Robux. But there we are. So yeah, the prestige is just gold on a normal doodle. But now if I go to my storage and I go to that specific one, we can go to customize, take the prestige off. And now if I go to the misprint one, it is... Diamonds. So there's that. So now let's go ahead and take this boy or is it a girl? This girl, and level it up. And would you look at that? We're already evolving. I'm pretty sure I only had to get it to level 10 to evolve it. I think it's called Toxipupa. It's been a while since I've been on Route 1. Okay, it's Toxipupa. 
But uh, pretty sure we're way over level and level 10 because we're battling Ait's bot. Nah, nah, just a little bit over. It isn't that <laughs> Okay, so now if I just quickly go to my items and use a level up cube, it should now evolve into the final one. So here's the thing. I would definitely love to use this as the Awakened form because we already do know that there is an Awakened version of Morpha. However, I don't think Awakens are going to have reskins. So if I if you have a reskin on something and then Awaken it, I also don't know if I want crunch, uh, Crush on this thing. I'm just going to say no on Reload it later if I want that. But um, apparently if you have something with a skin on it, Awaken it, then it doesn't keep the skin which is a little unfortunate, so hopefully they change their mind and they do that eventually, but it looks like they're not going to do that at least at the very beginning, so I guess we'll see. I guess I could use on as a normal Morpher and then just have, like, a different one for the Awakened PvP version whenever I decide to actually do PvP, but hey, there is my perfect Morpher. Now, basically, I just gotta, like, give it equipment, give it some moves, and give it whatever stats I want, but I mean, I can do that later, okay? Because like I said, I still haven't really touched PvP that much, that, that much, okay? But hey, I will gladly take it. Also, for people that are curious, here's what all the, um, all the skins I have look like, but unfortunately, Morpher just doesn't really have that many interesting skins, at least not many that I like. Some of them are pretty creepy. Not gonna lie. Oh, I almost forgot to show you it behind me because all these are big. Why would I not show it behind me? Because in the menus and in battles, you don't really get to see any difference at all. But also, misprint Halloween Chronos goes hard. Unfortunately, I can't really like chain this one right now because it's not in the game. And also, it doesn't have a prestige skin because you can't even complete all of its tasks, I think. Uh, but here is the, the Morphrelin. Honestly, it's a little bit bigger than the Chronos. Some, some, doodles like big versions are actually like gigantic and uh yes yeah, some some aren't although it isn't actually that bad there are definitely like some big doodles that aren't as big as this morpher but i will gladly take it i ain't gonna complain about that 